Hello friends, welcome to Drive Through Tarot. Um, as I, I'm doing this intro at the same time for Drive Through Tarot and um, A Day in the Life, and I've discovered I have a hole in my elbow of my favorite sweater, but that's okay, because I can fix it. One, I know how, and two, I have a wide variety of thread colors in this little, pa this little packet, um, so I can do it. Today, um, it is quarter after eight, almost. Um, so I'm hoping for a line at Starbucks. I've brought the Pagan Otherworlds with me. Um, I was talking to Dawn Michelle in her comments um, that she has this fabric for um, a fairy oracle deck. And every time she gets it, I'm like, oh, it's a Pagan Otherworlds. And no, it never is. <laughs> so for me, this fabric is a Pagan Otherworlds, but it is not for Dawn Michelle. And I find that very amusing. Um, and what a small, small fabric world it is. So let's, um, let's cross our fingers for a line and let's, for the love of God, let's go get caffeinated. right up and ordered. So we'll start here in the drive-thru, but we'll probably finish in the parking lot of either the bank or Costco. So I shuffled these pretty good before I left, and today we're just going to take a general um, energy reflection for October for what the invitation is for us to pay attention to um, what we're being invited to see, understand, interpret um, it with, with fresh eyes, with a different sense of, just a different sense of awareness. So I'm not, I didn't think of any prop, prompts as I was going. We'll start with the first card and then we'll go from there. So the first card we have is the Seven of Cups. So the Seven of Cups shows up when we have when either we have or we feel like we have a decision to make. And I feel like that is important. Um, sometimes, I'm back up. Either way, we don't have all of the information that we need. Um, nothing is clear yet. I really see this energy um, as more of a not a research and make decisions type energy today, but more of a where can we relax into not knowing yet? And how can it be okay that we don't have all of the information yet? Kind of seeing like being comfortable with hangman energy, um, looking around, being curious, um, asking questions, without a sense of pressure, without this sense of urgency. I don't need to decide X right now. I don't need to decide Y right now. Um, I can look at what I have available to me and I can trust that what I need to make the decision, I will have the information that I need to do that. But right now, I don't have it. So let's look at our second card. Um, what is what is standing in our way of <coughs> comfort and indecision? And we have the fool. <laughs> we want to start something new. We want to move forward. We want to pick up the pace. We want to make that giant leap. But we don't have everything we need to do that. Let me get my coffee. Hold on. Costco parking lot. My drink of the day is a venti ice latte. Coming back to uh, a, a previous Sarah Jane Case drink with two pumps of brown sugar syrup and sweet cream cold foam. So 
so much film today. This this sucker is delicious. So to catch me up, I've also got pumpkin muffins in the bag for me and Nathan and an Americano for him. So the energy of this month is getting comfortable with indecision. The trouble <laughs> with that where we're getting hung up is the pool because we want we want to start something over. We want to to shake off all of these leaves. We want to pack as few as our belongings as we can and start over. There is this energy of wanting to start over, but we're not there yet. There is still there are still things that we need to clean up. There are things that we need to clear. And this feels like very energetic and emotional to me. This is not like cleaning out your fridge before you get your groceries. This is um, this is clearing out your emotional cobwebs before new relationships, new opportunities, new adventures can come up for you. This feels very like emotionally, energetically. We've got stuff we need to shake off before we can take our next adventure, before our next adventure shows up for us. And when that, when, when we have shaken things off, when we, when we've done that clearing, then this decision here in the Seven of Cups will be obvious. So not only by, by dealing with our impatience with action, not only is that how we're going to make this decision, but also how we're going to um, be clear and um, open to new adventures to come. So how can we, what can help us as we wait? We have the Two of Cups. The Two of Cups is, I kind of see the Two of Cups as like this, this many lovers. Um, and in the way to, um, to really look at our one-on-one -on -one interactions with people and also like our one-on-one -on -one interactions with ourselves, right? How can we use, utilize, I'm gonna utilize instead of use, how can we utilize the relationships in our lives to help us see ourselves more clearly, to help us um, share not only our responsibilities, but what we need to process, what we're ready to process, um, and, and getting the perspective of someone else while we're figuring ourselves out. So you don't have to do it alone. Um, trusting in, trusting in your people, trusting in your resources, trusting in your massage therapist, in your Reiki practitioner, in your therapist, in the person that cuts your hair, right? Trusting that as, as you go through this process of seeking clarity for clarity's sake, that that seems very important, that, that, that not experiencing this, that not looking at, I have to have this, I have to shake off these leaves in order to make this decision. No, making this decision, starting this adventure is a byproduct of the, the emotional, the energetic clearing that we have to do. Thinking of like the falling of the leaves, like it's gonna happen. Um, we just have to be there for it. We, we have to, to take the time to pay attention to it, to notice it as it happens and experience it as it happens. And we do that by sharing our lives with others, by allowing others in, by um, having a, a sounding board to verbally, energetically, emotionally process things with. The help that we're looking for is not doing it alone. So we've got <clears throat> the energy we have is feeling stuck and indecisive. What's holding us back is our desire to do it now, to make the jump. And while we really need to shake off all of the, just shake off our debris, our leaves to clear our channel, and uh, what will help us on the way is the Two of Cups, looking at um, how we can utilize our relationships and our resources to, to have a sense of awareness in the process and to be here for the process itself, not for the outcome. I'm gonna draw another card for first steps. Um, and for the first step, we have the chariot. 
a lovely, lovely ginger, bearded ginger on the chariot. To me, the chariot is all about how are we in our own way. Um, in the in the traditional chariot, the wheels of the chariot themselves um, are concrete squares. So um, where are we in the wrong chariot? Where are we facing the wrong direction? Where are we in our own way? And to approach this, when we see how our self-talk, when we see how our habits, when we see how our routines, when we see how our beliefs are getting are in our own way, because we are, <laughs> we are. Seeing that as a as something to address and respond to without guilt and shame. Like there is nothing about about this chariot rider here that is shameful. This is power. That when we recognize where we're in our own way, where we're holding ourselves back, that um, to to take the power that comes with that knowledge instead of clinging to the past, clinging to the pain and the shame of the recognition. And also our little buddy here has a blue sash, which is third eye. So letting our intuition play an important role in this process. So friends, that is our uh, drive through tarot for the first week of October. Um, I think, um, you know, fall is a time of, of shaking things off and uh, especially this year as we come out of the pseudo acute post pandemic, whatever this is that we're in, there's a lot of redefining, a lot of reestablishing that, that I am doing right now and I'm, I'm assuming that that's, that's familiar energy for lots of us. Um, and just taking the time we need to be intentional and alive and um, we don't have to be, we don't have to have the same level of, of energetic and emotional protection of ourselves that we've had to. And to just lean into this openness again with awareness and curiosity and look at where we're getting in our own life. All right, I'm rambling and I want to drink a coffee and I'm gonna can't wait to get home and have my muffin. So I'm gonna end this here. Have a great day.